In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down my U11 basketball team and how they were able to win 45-17 to against a pretty good team. So let's get down, let's check this out and some of the amazing things that they did and hopefully they continue to do into the future. So let's get down, let's check this out really quickly. Make sure to go check out my Unbeatable Basketball Zone defense book down in the description below. Okay, so coming off of this baseline inbounds, we're able to inbound the ball to this player right here. Now I'm not allowed to say any of their names, so I will not be doing that. However, what he does is he does a quick crossover and attacks the basket. First though, what is he doing over here? He's looking over here. He's making this defender think that potentially he's going to be passing or dribbling towards this side and then he crosses over as soon as that player takes that hop to that side this was a fantastic move good job however when he crosses over and he attacks the basket he's faced with a help side defender what he does next is absolutely amazing he is able to take his two steps and with his second step he removes that player from beside him and places that defender behind him by using that elbow. He's able to do this by swiping that elbow towards his right side and into the chest of that defender. He is then able to go up for that layup uncontested. Now here we set a screen up top, the defender goes underneath that screen, and then we're able to get that pass to the roll man. This was against a 2-3 zone defense, and then our player was able to take one dribble and right to the rim for a regular layup without anybody contesting it. Great job guys. See the thing with zone defenses sometimes anyways, or at least youth defenses, is if you can set a screen, if you're allowed to set a screen in your league, and having them roll off, generally the roll man is going to be open more times than not and of course if you've got a skilled player who can get layups then of course you're going to be able to score a lot of points and obviously if the other team is giving you a three-point shot I always tell my guys to take it anytime that you're wide open you need to take that shot because what's going to happen is you are already going to have multiple guys down there to rebound we even have another guy here who's coming in to rebound so you're always going to have that opportunity to get that ball back that's number one but number two is this player now is going to be forced to guard our point guard much closer our point guard is probably the fastest person on the court right now this kid right here will not be able to keep up with him so now this player is going to be forced to guard him tighter and that's going to allow this our player to blow right by him in future possessions also off ball defense being able to read these passes i always like to tell my guys that if there's a lob pass into a post or down court we need to try and intercept that and if we can we will be pretty successful and that's what we're able to do here now this is aligned with quite a few really good defensive players and obviously the score mirrors that as well and then coming off of that screen yes we do dribble that in this case is okay because that player is still looking down court to pass the ball down court i always like to say off of a steal or a rebound to look for the outlet pass first however in this case he dribbled first but it was okay because he was still able to get that ball down court having in his mind to look for the furthest man down court so that we can get that layup and that's exactly what we were able to do here again great job boys now here we're coming off of a baseline inbounds once again and while this is actually a missed shot i really wanted to point out the footwork so number four, because of course we can't say names, so his name is going to be number four today because that's his jersey number. But watch what he does. He does a quick fake out towards this side, which actually removes this defender slightly away from him, but also creates a top foot right here to attack. Number four was able to, of course, read that, and he attacked the basket using his off arm to lock that player behind him, and then he was able, see that arm right there? He was able to lock that defender behind him so that he had the open lane to the basket, great job and then he was able to go for that layup now he actually got fouled here and missed the shot and he was able to take two free throws and yes he made both of them and if you don't believe me because you may not have seen the foul this referee right here called the foul for us here we had a perfect outlet pass and we were able to go all the way down now while this player is ahead of this player at this point when you're up 26 to 9 i'm not going to be complaining and there was really nobody back there who could catch up with him anyways 
Okay, here I really want to point out the passing. We get that ball into the wing to start, and we reverse that ball back. That's actually a really good decision because now everyone's facing this way. Nobody is in defensive stance other than this guy. So reversing that ball, passing that ball quickly when nobody is actually really playing defense too much at all. And if you're watching this video, if you're on that team, please uh, play defense like that. Have your one hand facing the ball, one hand facing your man, and then you're able to, of course, uh, know where the ball is going and be able to stop teams from scoring uh, a little bit easier. But we reverse that ball out. There's a massive passing window right here. And our player number five was able to, of course, get that pass through a perfect one hand pass and then our man was able to of course finish with a layup right there being able to pass this ball around while this is technically a risky pass because you're crossing that imaginary mid court line where any cross court passes are extremely risky there was no player who was in defensive stance there was no player watching this man and the ball which allowed that pass to get through and allowed that layup to happen and this is what i mean by defensive stance being able to stay with your defender if we can see here this screen was coming up so he was playing a bit off to protect the drive which is fantastic and then we have our player here who was playing deny defense on that man and then we have our main defender here our point guard on their point guard who is staying nice and low look at that defensive stance 90 degrees on the knees 90 degrees on the hips hands straight out and the best part is is he's got his palms facing up so that he can swipe those basketballs away as we see right here then he did amazing things here he passed that ball ahead to the lead man who was then able to go in for that layup which then made it 45 at that point to 13 and then we ran a little bit of a half court trap and this strategy worked pretty well and i wanted to kind of teach my guys this strategy now this is actually an interesting strategy this is not something that we actually practiced before this game we've practiced it after this game because it worked pretty well but uh, I sometimes whenever you've got a big lead with younger teams I always like to try and challenge them to do things and in this game we challenge them to run a sideline inbounds that they've never ran before never practiced before and then we th I threw on this half court trap where whenever a player is going up a sideline or if the ball is anywhere close to the sideline if you are the closest person to that man you need to leave the man you're guarding everyone then moves over and guards like almost like a zone where you're just watching who's going to get past to and then that man who moves over over traps the sideline or baseline or corner or whatever and then we also ran another little sequence to it where if the person was dribbling up the middle of the court and they pass to the sideline you leave the man you were guarding who had the ball and you go trap the sideline and that's basically what we see right here so this boy was dribbling up the court and I have a player here who's guarding him another player here who came over from another player who now is trapping the sideline we have guys who are paying attention in defensive stance and other guys who are paying attention to where this boy may be looking to pass that ball and at this point he's going to be in almost a perfect trap he's trying to get out but now when he turns back we have a secondary defender we have three guys who are protecting the paint and we have two guys up top who are now trying to trap this ball there's not too many options out there we've got three players here who he could pass to but all three of them are covered and there was another boy up at the left side but we're more worried about inside the three at this point and we were able to get that ball and the referee actually called it out on this boy so it was our ball going back the opposite direction and then literally the next play right after we quickly attacked they were full court pressing they were doing a full court man and we were able to break out of that pretty easily a quick drive and kick now this play we didn't actually score on but it was great passing we drove we kicked and then we swung that ball around anytime a team is trying to press you in a man or even in a zone in a sense you want to be able to drive that ball and collapse the defense kick that ball out swing that ball around this is actually a very basic offense that we run and in fact it's inside my complete guide to the five out offense down in the description below but after that drive and kick, we then took a three-point shot because, again, nobody is around you. We're up by definitely enough points. You can take that three 100% of the time. We 
barely missed it. And of course, with a minute left, being up by 30, we won the game. I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player potentially, but also help your team, if you're a coach, win more games. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys again next time.